Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I've got a beer from uh, Asda I picked up recently and it's a collaboration brew uh, between Harbour down in the West Country and uh, 21st Amendment Brewery who are in San Francisco, California in the United States. And they've collaborated to make a cold IPA and they've called it Castles in the Sky. Let's have a look at the artwork. That's great. We've got Abraham Lincoln. Scaling Big Ben, and it's uh, obviously a, a take on King Kong with the airplanes, looking like they're trying to shoot him out of the off the top of the building, a bit like with the movie King Kong where they tried to shoot him off the top of the Empire State. So yeah, castles in the sky, prickly pear. This is called cool. prickly pear cold IPA, and it's coming in at six point eight percent ABV. That's a pretty good ABV for an IPA, especially for a supermarket one. I've not had anything from 21st Amendment Brewery before. Had a few beers from Harbour, who are down in Cornwall. Um, North Cornwall, I think it should say on here. It does, Bodmin, North Cornwall, Harbour are from. Um, so yeah, they've collaborated with uh, 21st Amendment Brewery, San Francisco, California. It says 6.8%, um, prickly pear, cold IPA, Rice, malt with barley, wheat, mosaic, citron, amarillo hops, which suggests it's going to be tropical with a touch of citrus to it. Um, I mean, let's get that there so we can see the can. Amarillo, we're looking maybe orange, a bit of peach. Um, the citra, we all know citra, slightly tropical, a bit more grapefruit. And with, uh, what was the other one? Mosaic. Uh, mosaic again you're looking at mango probably a bit of passion fruit um, but yeah so it's going to be a juicy affair going on the hops they've used so let's uh, get this beer out this was three pound a can I believe in Asda and um, I went to the, the big Asda in Milton Keynes and um, yeah okay off the bat I was not expecting that Prickly Pear Cold IPA. <laughs> what is going on here? This is a bit lively on the opening. It's just kind of squirted all over me. Castles in the Sky Prickly Pear. I suppose the colour is why that's happened. Is there a list of ingredients? There is not. Prickly Pear Cold IPA. All it's telling me is the grist, hops, and the yeast that are in there. It's got lager yeast in it. It is lively. Hey, really lively. Right, well, this has thrown me completely. This has absolutely thrown me. I was thinking this was going to be a sort of your run of your mill, tropical IPA. This is described as a cold IPA. I mean, perhaps I should have done a little bit of research before I started it, but there seems to be a lot of beers that are called cold IPAs at the moment. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was not expecting this. So, carbonated as hell. Um, that was really lively on the opening. That really wanted to fly out of the can. Um, as a result, we've got a massive three finger, almost pink head. There is the beer. Hazy, light red in colour. Um, well, it, it looks pretty spectacular in the glass, to be honest. It looks great. Um, let's get my snout in, see what the aroma is telling <laughs> And we're back. Apologies about that. My camera decided to cut out halfway through recording. I hate technology. I hate it so much. Um, let's get back to this beer. Now we've uh, kind of got back to it. The beer's had time to settle down, so I'm going to top it up. But it's so lively. So, so lively. Just got about all of that into the glass. And there is, whoa, I don't know what's going on here. There's different elements to this beer. There is so much, I don't know if you can see that. There's so much floating around in there. Loads of sediment or whatever floating around in there. It gives nothing away on the can. Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast, prickly pear. I'm gonna get a bit of pear. Is pear in there, prickly pear? It's a lovely colour. Let's get the aroma. It does smell. There is a touch of pear to it. 
It almost smells a little bit like a cider. It smells very fruity. Slightly tart on the aroma. I'm getting a bit of blackcurrant. That's what it smells like as well. There's a slight grapefruity touch. A bit of peach. It's really strange. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Tastes like orange. <laughs> what is going on? It's a bit orangey. It's citrusy. It does taste like a bit of pear is in there. Front, it's, it's orange, it's citrusy. Not really very tropical, considering there's mosaic and citra in there. Um, I'm getting orange, a touch of peach, a little bit of grapefruit, a bit of pear. There's a citrus bitterness to it at the back end that's hanging around. well carbonated it's weird it's really really weird i've not had anything like this before i can't understand how they've got to this flavor using the hops that they have the mosaic the citra amarillo very tropical hops the flavor profile that you generally get from those hops is tropical you know, like I say, Amarillo, you might get a touch of orange, a touch of peach. You are getting the orange and you are getting the peach. But I'm not getting mango. I'm not getting passion fruit, which you would get from the citra and the mosaic. A touch of orange. Slightly peachy. There's a bitterness to it that balances out that initial sort of orange citrus sweetness to it. This is a very peculiar beer. It's very peculiar, but it's very drinkable. It's very, very drinkable. I didn't know what to expect from this one. Um, like I said, I spotted it on the shelf at Asda, a collaboration between Harbour and 21st Amendment, who I hadn't heard of. 21st Amendment before I saw this one. So I just thought, I quite like Harbour beers. I think generally they do really good beers. So I thought I'd give it a go. Prickly Pear Cold IPA. Now it says it's got Prickly Pear in it. I'll be honest, I don't know what a Prickly Pear is. I know what pear is. I'm assuming that's got something to do with the colour. I really should have done my research before this. But really good conditioning on the beer. There is... Load, I don't know if you can see that. Sediment floating around in the bottom of it. There's quite a bit going on with this. The hot profile, you would you would expect it to give you a completely different flavour, but it doesn't. Light bodied, soft mouth feel. I actually like it. The more I drink it, the more I'm enjoying it. It is slightly sweet. It There is a berry influence. Touch of grapefruit. Nothing really in the way of mango, passion fruit. Bit of orange, a bit of grapefruit. Slight touch of lime. Touch of peach. It's really weird. It's a really, really weird beard. Weird beard. Weird beer. Um, as, a, as a cheap plug for another brewery there. Um, there's a berry sweetness to it, along with the citrus. And I'm assuming that pear, that pear is giving quite a kick. But I like it, you know. It's 
it's juicy, it's fruity, but it's not overly sweet. There's no dankness to it. There's no, there's none of that sort of gloopy, dank, tropical flavor that you can get with these hops. It's quite light. It, it's very drinkable. It's like nothing you would have had before. Um, and I like the bitterness at the back end. It gives it a bit of balance. Um, I'm going to have to read up on this beer a little bit and figure out what they were going for with it because it's very pe peculiar but massively drinkable. I really don't know where to go with it, um, but I like it. So, Castles in the Sky from Harbour and 21st Century Amendment. Available in Asda. Odd one. Really odd beer. Um, I would love to know what you thought about this one if you've tried it at home. Leave your comments below um, if you have. In terms of a score... I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed drinking it. I'm going to finish the rest of that. I think it's quite nice. Um, I just, yeah, without really knowing what it was trying to do, um, I'm not sure the hops that are in it really come through. I think it's very much about the prickly pear, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, it's drinkable. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I like it enough to give it a seven, I think. It's a very drinkable beer, if a bit odd. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So once once again, Castles in the Sky from Harbour and 21st Century Amendment, available in Asda's. Um, yeah, £3 a can, 7 out of 10 from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Apologies for the technological, the tech, I, I can't get my words out. Sorry for the issues with the camera, uh, but I hope it turns out all right. So uh, yeah, till my next one, you take care.